Let's talk about adding callouts to your Visio diagrams. A callout is just a box of text with a leader line pointing to some target shape that indicates a note that you want readers and users to pay particular attention to. Uh, the most famous callout is the word balloon we see in comic strips and things like that. In Visio 2010, callouts are directly integrated into the product and we can quickly add them to shapes by selecting a shape going over to the Insert tab on the rib ribbon, then right next to Containers is the Callout drop-down, so where we can select from several different styles of callouts. So let's just pick a box with a, a line, and you can see that Visio inserts the shape for us and selects it. We can type some text. Uh, this laptop is getting too old to perform properly, something like that. Maybe the IT department is going to highlight equipment that's getting too old and needs to be replaced. You can see that when I, that the text uh, adjusted to, uh, the shape automatically adjusted to fit the text, which is typical Visio smart shape behavior. And you also see that when I select the callout, an orange rectangle appears around the shape. And this tells us that this, this callout has the laptop shape as its target. Now when I move the laptop, you can see the callout goes along with it, and I don't have to select the callout too. In the old days, you would have had to do something like this, then move them both together, which works just fine. Now callouts are part of structured diagrams. Visio understands that this callout has a target of this laptop shape. If I move the callout around to reposition it, you can see that orange rectangle is still there. That means the callout still has a target shape. So we'll move the laptop around, and there it goes. In addition to following shapes around, if you duplicate shapes, I'm just control dragging the laptop, the callout gets duplicated along with it automatically. There we go. Make another copy. I don't have to al always worry about uh, selecting both shapes to do that. And that's nice, especially if, if something's off the page. You know, maybe I make a, a copy of the laptop and I say, oh, oh, that's nice. The callout came along with it. Similarly, if you delete shapes, any assigned callouts go away as well. Now, if you don't have a shape selected, you can still add callouts to your diagrams. Let's add uh, the word balloon. But you'll see that it's not assigned to anything. There's a little yellow control handle floating in space. There's no orange rectangle anywhere. This callout doesn't have a target. So what we do is just drag the control handle to any shape, and you can see those orange rectangles show up as we drag the control handle over the shape. And once we let go, we've assigned the target for the callout. So if I move the, sh the server shape around, the callout goes with it. Similarly, if you want to deassign the target, just pull that control handle off the shape. You can see that the orange rectangle disappears, and now that no longer belongs. So let's put it back. It's nice for callouts to be pointing at some shape. Now this this word balloon's nice. It looks like a little word balloon, but the 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 little pointer isn't very isn't super smart. It kind of points at the shape a little bit, but maybe you want something more like a leader line that points directly at the server. So how do I change the style of the callout? Well, it's not quite as automatic as things you're used to, like themes, where you can mouse around over these big galleries and change things that already exist. Even even containers, you can select a container and change its style just by mousing over one of the, the items in the gallery. You don't have to delete the container and replace it. Callouts don't quite work that way. You can see that I've got a callout here selected, but the 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 item in the ribbon is actually deactivated, disabled. So how do I change the style? Well, we know we've got all these different styles. And if you pause your mouse over them, you can actually get the name of each style. So let's say bubble callout. Just remember that. Now I can right click on this callout shape and you'll see there's a callout style menu item that expands and has all those items in the gallery available. So it's not quite as as smooth as some of the other gallery and live preview features, but there are ways to change the callout without having to delete it and replace it. So let's just choose bubble callout, and you can see, there, lo and behold, we have our bubble callout. But it's missing the leader line. 
So how do we get that? We want to we want the line to point at the target. Well, again, right click on the callout, and you'll see there's the callout line item with a few sub items, and you can say line from center, and now that line follows around the shape when I drag it. So callouts are integrated a lot more nicely into Visio than they used to be. You don't have to find a stencil and drag shapes out. Just go to the Insert tab and use the callout drop down. Pull on control handles to assign or deassign the callout and right click and check out the different features available here at the top of the menu. That's all there is to it.